Indianapolis Colts 27, Panthers 13. After many baby steps forward, Bryce Young takes a massive step back. A big step. A big leap. Um, right into the hands of Kenny Moore, basically, with uh, two pick sixes. An adult size step backwards. Um, yeah, I think uh, Kevin Clark tweeted something like, you know, I'm trying to stay rational with the C.J. Stroud Bryce Young takes, and Bryce Young is not making it easy, uh, which is pretty true. Now, one week ago, Bryce Young had his best game yeah. in a game where he outplayed C.J. Stroud. Right. That like- just happened last week. Now, head-to-head doesn't matter. I mean, we're eight, nine games into the season here. The head-to-head matchup doesn't get weighed double or anything But in narrative like terms, like in narrative terms, yeah. you can't do much better than I – performing the guy you're compared to in the game right yes it, great work from Bryce Young like time dip to perfection that was the perfect time to play well and Stroud or and uh, yeah Stroud not have his best game great work in terms of fixing your narrative Bryce Young but then this week you undid all of that work you timed your crappy game for when he's setting rookie records and putting up 470 yards and creating this like legacy comeback win you have a nightmare and throw the ball repeatedly to Kenny Moore and just capitulate do not tell me to stop being reactionary i think the bryce young takes have been very you know straightforward he he had continued to progress this is the first step back he's taken this year like he hasn't been good overall Mm -hmm. he's gotten marginally better pretty much every single week there's been more things to you know have some you know to be positive about if you're a panthers fan and this is a big step back this is bad this is bad performance yeah at home against this Colts defense throwing the two pick sixes which were just were ugly no, I mean, he, he had a bad game, and he hasn't had a good season. Um, but we're, we're half a season in to his rookie career, or to his career, period. Like, this is the classic example of just simply go back, pull up the first eight, nine games of the last ten quarterback classes. Find the good quarterbacks from those classes and tell me what their numbers look like after eight, nine games. They're not all good. In fact, a lot of them are bad. And, you know, Matthew Stafford has one of the worst rookie seasons of any quarterback ever. Like, Bryce Young has been bad. I'm not even trying to dress it up. He's been bad. I haven't been impressed by him. Nothing's been good. Yeah. And even despite your incremental baby steps, it never got to a good level. It was just like, yeah, this is better than it was. Um, But it is. Like, (laughs) the only caveat that needs to be attached to that is it doesn't necessarily mean anything. It just means he's having a bad rookie year. Which quarterbacks yeah. do. The goal is to have your guy by, you know, late year two into year three. Yeah. Now, if it happens sooner, great. Um, I think I, there's still people debating Trevor Lawrence. I, I think Lawrence is there, man. Uh, maybe not as but a Lawrence top is another guy, guy who hadn't very, shown anything in the first a year and a half. Now, when we got, remember last year, at this time, this very time, this, this is like the week where Trevor Lawrence turned it around last right. year. It, a year and a half into his career, we were sitting there in weeks six, seven, eight, saying, all right, man, is this like, is Trevor Lawrence ever going to figure this thing out? Other people had seen some progress. Remember our friend Nate Tice was like, man, I'm seeing this progress from Trevor Lawrence. I'm, and we're like, I'm not, I'm not there yet. And then the f- switch flipped. And yeah. all of a sudden, Trevor Lawrence, since that point, I think has been excellent. So it just, it just, takes, eight, eight, it just uh, takes time for certain After guys. nine weeks of the 2018 rookie class, Josh Allen had two touchdowns, five interceptions, and worse numbers than Josh Rosen. Right? I mean, that's that's tweet-worthy. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need to understand here, right? Bryce Young has been bad. There is no dressing that up, nor is there any any attempt to, by the way. Like, he's been bad. It's been ugly. It doesn't actually necessarily mean anything. It's just that by comparison to C.J. Stroud, it looks terrible. But that doesn't mean in a year's time. Will that be the same answer? In two years' time, will that be the same answer? We don't know yet. Yeah, this game was kind of ugly. Um, Except for Kenny Moore. Kenny Moore was awesome. Probably going to get defensive player. He's going to win all the awards. Uh, AFC player of the week. I guarantee he's going to be <laughs> AFC defensive player of the, of the week. And probably should, to be fair. And probably should, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are, those are good plays. Uh, Gardner Minshew didn't – what do we have a turnover-worthy plays here? <laughs> This was like the worst the Colts' offense has looked. I, yeah, every time I looked up, they were making something bad happen, and yet they were like three scores to the good. Didn't make any, yeah. It didn't make a lot of sense until you considered that Bryce Young kept throwing them the ball. Because of Kenny Moore. Um, I don't have much else to add here because we have other games to discuss. Yeah. Well, good then, job, Colts. Colts yeah. move 
Um, so AFC South getting a little bit tighter. They move to four and five. Panthers fall to one and seven. And so the Bears are excited because they have their pick, which is number two right now.